All right, how is everybody doing today? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be making an updated type of update video on where I think Tesla price will be in terms of their stock in about five years from today. Now, I made a video just around a year ago now, like not even a year ago, just in April of this year, talking about where Tesla stock will be in five years, right? Tesla price was at $481 pre-split right and since it has split it's 5x and then after that it's almost gone up another double that so you would have 10x almost 10x your money if you bought it when i made that video now i was basically right in a lot of the points but i want to make an updated video because obviously tesla has ran up so much this year and i want to give my thoughts on where it will be today now they got added to the s p 500 today right and it went up to 695 dollars but as soon as it hit that price point um it basically dipped after hours so at least on Webull, it says that after hours is trading at around 700 or 673 dollars so that's where it is today but we're gonna be taking a more of an outside like long-term outlook of tesla stock here today right before we jump in, into it if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to this channel i'm gonna be making more stock market videos and talking about other great stocks that i personally are invested in the way i invest is i usually do and i look long term right i look i usually don't buy a stock if i'm looking to sell it before six months i usually hold for at least six months to a year if, if not more in the case of tesla where i've been holding it for at least like two to three years now so that is that also if you haven't already make sure to sign up for webull i have a link down in my description basically all you have to do is open up a brokerage deposit 100 bucks and you'll get four free stocks which is a great return on your money and i do use webull um basically as my brokerage as well so it's pretty damn good now obviously tesla has run up i would say one of the biggest in the whole s p um since they've been included so it's basically gone from 86 to 600, 700. Now, I think it will be up from here five years from now, two, th two years from now, one year from now, it might still be at this price point. Like I wouldn't be surprised, but let's look five years from now. They are currently making about 30 million, right? They're expected to do around just under 30 million for the year. Their last quarter, they did about eight to 9 billion. So I would say fourth quarter, if they do close to 10 billion, that would be pretty good and I wouldn't be too far-fetched to say that they do 10 billion at the fourth quarter. Now, if that's the case, um, I wouldn't be surprised five years from now if they're making about uh, 100 billion in revenue annually, they're making about 24 billion. So they should be at least making $100 billion in revenue annually. And with the obviously the market cap being 756, you're paying about six times revenue, which for a growth company at that price it's pretty decent obviously they got cybertruck pre-orders on deck i've made videos on this in the past they have a ton of cybertruck orders like i would say almost 600,000 pre-orders of the cybertruck now they've deposited a hundred dollars so obviously a lot of people could end up um, actually retrieving those pre-orders so we just have to wait and see on that Obviously, the Roadster is expected to come out. Now, this is not going to bring a lot of revenue for Tesla, right? But I think what the Roadster will do is it's going to bring a lot of PR for the company. It's going to be faster than a Bugatti. And I think once this um, car releases, like you see all these celebrities making like music videos and stuff with like a Model S, um, even like a Cybertruck in one of the music videos. I think the Roadster will be everywhere, man. Because if people are willing to make like music videos with like a Model X, dude, they're going to be making videos with a roadster like that's and the amount of PR they're going to get is going to be like Apple level PR like they're going to be um, at the top, if not already at the top and just if they aren't already, you know, so I think that's going to be another big driver. Now, Tesla insurance is only available in California from my knowledge but I think that's going to expand a lot more and in the last earnings call, they obviously talked about insurance being one of their like big parts of their business if not 20 percent of their business right elon musk said that specifically the reason that is is because they have so much data on how people drive so they're able to perfectly measure how much you actually are supposed to pay for your insurance relative to how risky you drive right now companies like geico and stuff do this i believe where you you insert something in your car but they have such minimal information about you right so they don't know how much like they don't know how risky you drive now the thing with autopilot is that if you use autopilot tesla will insure your car at a much lower rate 
because autopilot as we as we know lowers the amount of like crash like risk um how can i put this the amount of times you crash and get into an incident or accident is a lot less with autopilot enabled they've tested this with over billions of miles so if you do have autopilot it should lower your rate of insurance a lot and that could potentially be actually used for other types of vehicles and as the fleet grows obviously that's going to grow next is a services business right let's say you get a model s and in five years it needs to be repaired it's not under warranty tesla is going to make good money off you right they're going to make a good amount of money just like how ford relies on you coming back to their dealership to get something changed same with tesla right there now i do think that in five years from now it should be close to a thousand dollars if not hit a thousand like i wouldn't be surprised that will set tesla's market cap to around oh like it should be around a billion man like it would be around i mean not a billion what am i saying around a trillion like that's kind of crazy now it may not touch a trillion but i wouldn't be surprised in five years from now if it does get close to a trillion but i i definitely think it will hit a trillion dollar market cap in five years i don't know but if it's not by 900 billion by in five years from now then i would be very surprised to say the least um you have people like kathy woods who has been invested in tesla for five years plus like they like they're crazy she's expecting um tesla to even be at even more than that right like she said 1200 pre-split so i mean like she would i mean not pre-split after split she thought it was gonna be at twelve thousand or 1200 so we just gotta like wait and see on that but i think five years from now if it's nine to nine hundred to a thousand dollars don't be surprised because i think that's where it's going to be five years from now so we're looking at 2025 end of 2025 or beginning of 2026 at that point now just today like tesla model 3 got another update right where basically they have a longer range increase you have um more miles per charge all of that through software like that's crazy ford does not do this now i made a video talking about how ford can't compete and this is one of the reasons why you don't see ford releasing software updates um with bringing more range to a car like that's pretty crazy and not to mention all the tesla superchargers revenue they're gonna make in the future because you take a big loss building superchargers but over time you make that money back right and I do think, especially with Cybertruck and stuff like that, the amount of people that will buy that, I think is pretty big, um, especially in different countries where um, like it's actually snowy, like maybe Canada and stuff like that it might be a huge market there. And obviously they're building the factory in China and stuff like that. But I do definitely think um, once they release the model, like the thing that is really going to explode Tesla that I haven't talked about is the $25,000 car. Now, they, the cheapest car you can get today, right, is a Model 3. And if you live in California, you get $1,500 off right now. So it's only 36 k 36.5K. Plus, you get a $2,000 flat incentive. So it's about 35 k after incentives. And I believe everyone can get that. Unless you're making over half a million a year, you basically will pay around 34 k to 35 k And that's still pretty expensive. Like, you can get a um, 3 Series BMW with that price if you're not into Teslas, right? once a $25,000 Tesla comes out, which could be coming, and think about it, you don't have to make a $25,000 car, they can make a $27,000 car with incentives, that's already under $25K, um, and that's gonna be pretty crazy, right? Because people that aren't able to afford anything will be able to afford a Tesla at that point. Like, if you can afford a Toyota, which most people probably can, especially in the middle class in America, you can you can very easily even eat, you can like if you buy a 25k tesla it's probably going to run you like a $35,000 normal like toyota is right so if we look at like when is expected to come out it's probably going to be releasing what he said it's when he released it like basically in battery day he said that they're looking to make it less um like the cost of it to be less than a normal combustion engine vehicle and they do think that it will be releasing um don't call me on this they don't know the name of it yet like people speculate it's gonna be 2000 i mean not 2000 people speculate it's gonna be it's gonna be called the model 2 but they don't have a name for it 
and he, they did say that it's looking to be around two to three years time so let's say in three years from now not from when the thing was made let's say elon musk takes longer to make this which he definitely does take longer like if elon musk gives you a date it's probably going to be a little more than that so just to be safe let's say three years from today it, they actually released that vehicle that means in one to two years after demand settles down the initial demand you will be able to pick one up and that's when the real volume comes in my opinion and that's around five years from now that's going to be huge um like you look at um other manufacturers people are, like bmw is selling an i3 for that much um and it only has like 90 miles on it like it's you can't even compare right and hopefully um more more like companies make evs like that and then that will actually help adoption a lot in my opinion and i don't see people buying a normal um like engine car in five years from now if the average person goes to buy an engine car you're losing a lot of money especially in depreciation and stuff like that so in five years from now if you're not buying an electric car you're losing out in my opinion so that's why that's basically why i can justify Tesla being at this price today and in five years from now being close to a thousand dollars pretty much nine hundred to a thousand dollars is my is my price point so hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully this has been a um, good video to help you guys out and hopefully like i actually explained myself pretty well there if you have any questions let me know make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already as i'm trying to hit 600 subscribers by the end of this year and i'll see you on my next video